Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2016 Audi R8 V10 Plus only now it has a 6 litre twin turbocharged V12 producing 1,191 horsepower and 623 pounds feet of torque the car itself now weighs 2,737 pounds still has its all wheel drive system which it's going to need now it's snowing and it can now do 0 to 16 2.321 seconds and 0 to 104.297 seconds so I know this is a bit of a boring choice for this uh, series, but quite frankly we are running out of choices, uh, but yeah, uh, well especially choices that are quick, uh, but yeah, it should do fairly well. Uh, the quickest Audi is the only other Audi that we've had on this series so far is the RS7 Sportback, which managed 265 miles an hour. This being a supercar, you'd expect it to be quicker than that, so hopefully it is, but nonetheless, let's get out there and see what this car can do. So yeah, way quicker than it was originally, which is no surprise, it's, given, it's got nearly twice the power. Also, it's got you know, two turbochargers, more cubic capacity and two extra cylinders. And yeah, we're rocketing along already. That's 230, 240, 250. The only problem with this engine is the lack of torque, which might well prove troublesome on the other side of the motorway, but there's 264, 265, 266, 267 as we change into 7th gear. So yeah, 267, so we are at least quicker than uh, the RS7 Sportback, and as quick as the Mazda RX7 uh, Savannah from the previous episode. So uh, yeah, let's continue and see if we can get any quicker. The trouble with this kind of car is obviously it's got more than six gears, which can hinder top speeds, which is usually why I prefer the older cars as they are particularly with only six gears. This is still pretty quick for a uh, car that has more than six gears, quite frankly. And yeah, even though it's got that all wheel drive system, it's still easy to slide out because of all the extra power. Mad how uh, high this engine revs as well. Nearly 11,000 RPM. It's getting near to bike territory that. Yeah, even though this is clearly not going to get the highest of top speeds on this uh, series, still a good all-rounder overall because you know you've got the all-wheel drive system as standard so it's not having to deal with that as an extra and yeah it's still hardly slow at the top end so if you do need to uh, have a uh, fast car that can handle well then this is a uh, good choice for that and it's certainly got great acceleration going for it and the launch off the line is impeccable, so uh, it's definitely got the edge on some cars with that. Yeah, the lack of torque is really harming us here. I don't think we managed to get past 260 on this side of the motorway, but regardless, 267 is our final and highest top speed, which, yeah, puts it two mile an hour ahead of the RS7 Sportback. Same uh, speed as the Mazda Savannah RX-7 from the previous episode, as well as the Jaguar XFRS, Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione, Pagani Wara BC, and a uh, Maserati MC-12 Versione Corsa. It's quicker than the likes of a Porsche Cayman GTS, a Porsche Carrera GT, BMW M3 GTR, Zenvo TSRS, and a TVR Griffith. But it is a couple of mile an hour or so behind the Mosler MT900S, the da, 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 Ford GT from 2005, the uh, Formula Drift Nissan off 370Z, the Lotus Esprit V8, Pagani's Honda Twinkway Roadster, Celine S7, and other similar cars like the Lamborghini Murcielago LP670, the Lamborghini Reventon, the Lamborghini Aventador J, and ooh, one more. The uh, oh, the uh, McLaren Speedtail and the Koenigsegg Agera. So uh, yeah, by no means the most impressive car that we've had on this series. It's a little bit more ordinary, especially because you know we had about 600 horsepower standard. So we've not even got twice the power what we had originally. But it's a good all-rounder. It's good at handling, good at braking, 
has a reasonable top speed and it's got really well really good acceleration on launch so uh, if that's the kind of vehicle you're after then this will uh, more than fit that bill so uh, yeah highly recommend trying it out if you haven't already and nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye